I bet you're wondering how I ended up like this. Well, let me tell you. It all started this morning. What's up? Nothing much. How about you? Nothing much. Okay. You okay? You kind of look suspicious. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm okay. Okay, I hope you're not getting into trouble with your pranks again. I don't do pranks, okay? Don't. Yeah, okay. Alright class, who's ready to have some fun? Alright, well let's get started on a PowerPoint on the book Great Expectations. Uh, oh, oh, relax. That's funny. I swore I could have had it. I had it around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you jokers. Which one of you took it? Jillian, you have detention. Wait, what? You were the one closest to my desk. And if no one fesses up, I have to punish you. Are you kidding me? so stupid. I'm just pissed because some idiot got me in trouble. Wait, who are you calling an idiot? Why are you so concerned? You didn't. I can't believe you. Okay, I have a perfectly good explanation for this, okay? Just listen. Ah! What are you doing? We're bringing this back to her and telling her that you're the one who did it. No, no, no then I'll get in trouble. Uh, why do you care about something so Stupid! God, give it back! No! Hi guys. Uh. Uh. Look what you did! Look what I did! This is all your fault! How is it my fault? If you never stole this stupid remote in the first place, this would have never happened! If you never fought over with me, then you wouldn't have hit him in the face and he wouldn't have fallen over the balcony! Are you kidding me? No, no. okay. We need to calm down. Yeah, obviously. Okay, I, I want you to go take to an exit. I'm gonna get a car and we'll, we'll take it somewhere else. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. What if we get in trouble? No, trust me, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, okay? Fine. I'm gonna get a car, okay? Hurry! Uh, okay, go! Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. I'll be right back, he said. I'll help you, he said. Ugh. Of course. Why should I have believed you? Jill? Um. What are you doing? Oh, it's uh, just my cousin. He has some major jet lag, so he kind of fell asleep, and now I am dragging him to my car because he won't wake up, so I'm just going to bring him home, let him sleep on the couch. Need help? Sure. <laughs> okay. So what's his name? Uh, it's Tony? Oh. Yeah, that's his name. Uh. Oh my god. Which door? Uh, this one. That's my phone. Hello? Hey, Jill. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it. You've gotta be kidding me. You know the engine powder incident? How they never caught the guy? Yeah, they got him. Are you kidding me? Dude, this is the second time you bailed on me today. Believe me, I would help if I could. But, I'm kind of in a bind right now. All right, fine. I'll just get, I'll just get Nino to do it. All right, bye. My ride just failed. Just, just leave it here, put him, put him, put him back in here. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get it. Thank you though, really. All right, no problem.
teeth. You know, right? He's like a zombie. I know, right? All right. Bye. Bye. Yo, Nino. Can you, uh, can you come pick me up? Yeah, what's up? Uh, just don't question it. You, you'll see. You'll see when you get here. All right? Dead body. Put it in the back. Hey, you're gonna need this. No, oh, thanks, okay. Do you need any help? <sighs> no, I'm good, thanks. And that's how I ended up here, burying this dead guy. There were a couple of problems and quick costume changes, but just like the great Vikings, I set him to rest. Hey, Jill, have you seen Antonio anywhere? Nope. Alright, let me know if you see him. Mm -hmm. You are like an earthquake.